from this election, uh, we'll see what the result is, but one of the possible scenarios is that uh, you would have a very slim uh, majority for the AKP and other allies, uh, leading to, in turn, a de facto executive presidency without the constitutional change. From an EU point of view, whatever this makes sense or not in Turkey, from an EU point of view, this is a, a lesser level of democracy than a coalition or a single party majority with a substantial margin. And therefore, the perception in the EU, in that particular case, would be another degradation in, in the level of rule of law in Turkey, and, and therefore more obstacles to EU-Turkey relations. In the past uh, two years, uh, Turkey's rule of law architecture has been degrading very substantially. Um, media freedom, independence of the judiciary, these sort of funding values uh, have uh, really deteriorated. And therefore, it is hoped that with the new government, whatever the result is, single party government or a coalition, uh, rule of law can be restored uh, very quickly to its uh, prior levels. Of course, EU-Turkey relations have other pillars. Refugees one, counterterrorism is another one, improving, the modernizing the customs union is another one. So there are still many different uh, uh, pillars. Uh, visa facilitation is another discussion. But if the rule of law in Turkey is not rapidly restored to, to normal levels, to levels expected from a negotiating country, there'll be uh, more obstacles to uh, the uh, pursuit of the accession negotiations.